Hey folks, welcome back to AAA Farms. James here. No, it's been a while since we talked, uh, or I had a long video anyway. Y'all been seeing the egg videos. Uh, just due to time change, every time I get home now in the evening, it's dark, and when I leave in the morning, it's dark. And then uh, on the weekends, it is deer season in Louisiana, so that's pretty much what I've been doing. Uh, I've also been down and sick quite a bit this year for some reason. Uh, I don't know if y'all can tell now, but I kind of got a hoarse voice right now. Uh, other than that, feeling just fine. Anyway, I'm going to talk about what today's video is about. It's about the bower tools. So, more and more I do around the farm, the more and more I work on different vehicles, I'm finding out that power tools are, are a very nice thing to have, not a necessity by any means. So, I got to looking around to see what power tools I wanted to go to. I have a DeWalt 18 volt drill that I've had somewhere in the neighborhood of 10 to 13 years. It's been a great drill. Uh, one of the batteries just recently failed. Uh, so I got one battery for that drill left. And so I got to looking at getting another battery, realized, hey, well, they don't make those no more, so you gotta go to the new series, which there is an adapter you can get for the drill. But then I got to looking at all the tools for the new series as well. And I found that I just, I like DeWalt and I like Milwaukee, but I don't wanna pay them prices because I don't rely on this tool to make a living. And the prices they're wanting, just I can't justify right now. So I really got to looking at these power tools from Harbor Freight. They uh, got pretty good reviews on YouTube and different review uh, websites. I'm thinking it's going to do just fine for what I needed to do uh, as I expand my line and get more tools to do more things. Uh, the 3.8 impact wrench is what I got here today. And I've got a fully charged 5 amp hour battery. So the reason I went ahead and made a swap now is Harbor Freight currently has a deal going on where if you buy the battery you get certain tools for free this is one of those tools uh, so the 5 amp power battery I think was $68 plus tax and then I got the 3 8 drive for free this is the brushless 3 8 drive or the 3 8 impact wrench uh, I believe it says 450 foot pounds yep of nut busting torque and I don't know if it says how much it can torque a bolt down but I really ain't going to use it for that anyway because I'd rather put my torque wrench on it and know exactly what I get. And uh, it says 300 foot-pounds for 30 seconds. Which uh, at 10 seconds it's saying 250 foot-pounds. Which is going to be way more than anything I ever really use. Because I think even on the Kubota, uh, which I'm going to try this on here shortly. Uh, we'll start with smaller tires and progress up and see what this thing could do. But on the Kubota, the big tires, if I remember right, I might be remembering wrong. I think those lug nuts are torqued to 200 foot pounds. Um, I'll double check that because I might be remembering wrong because it's been a long time since I've had to mess with a tire. So go ahead and open this box and see what we got. I uh, have not opened this yet. So we got our directions in there. Okay, so one thing I thought was kind of cool, which I think this is kind of common on a lot of tools now, is you have this little hook that you can fasten to that. So if you need to free up your hands, you can just hook it on your pants. I thought that was kind of cool. Got it. It's a 3 h drive. Like I said, it's supposed to have up to 450 pound breakaway force. I think it's going to do pretty good. Uh, they recommend, I think, the 3 amp hour battery. But like I said, we got the 5 amp hour battery. Sounds pretty cool. But yeah, really got to looking at the power hard because of, uh, like I said, a lot of good reviews. And for the price of one DeWalt tool, I can buy a lot of power tools. And I'm not relying on this stuff to make a living. Uh, if you are relying on that stuff to make a living, you probably don't want to buy a power. You probably want to go ahead and spend extra money and get Milwaukee or DeWalt or whatever other big brands there are nowadays. Uh, but let's see what this little 3H drive can do. I got some sockets. We'll try to take off, uh, we'll try to take a lug nut off the Ford Edge. Uh, maybe the boat trailer, because it's been a long time since some of those lug nuts been off. We could try the old tractor, and then we'll try the Kubota last, because pretty sure that's going to be the hardest ones. 
if I have an impact resistance socket for that, which I'm pretty sure I do. Uh, I might not though, we'll see. So let's get ready for all that. All right, we're gonna start with the Ford Edge. Uh, no idea so what these are torqued to, probably whatever the tire shop that last change tires are on. Uh, it's a 19 millimeter. Had to use a 3 8 a half inch adapter for the half inch socket. I'm just gonna see if I, I think this is really what the tool is meant for is your smaller vehicles and stuff. Uh, we're gonna try it on the Kubota just to see if it can do it. Uh, but Bauer also makes a much bigger one that has a thousand foot pounds of breakaway force. I think it's about $120 and I just don't have the money for that quite right now. But uh, eventually we will be getting it. Anyway, let's see what this thing can do. So not bad at all. So if you're just removing lug nuts and putting lug nuts on, especially, uh, make sure I get this started so I don't cross thread it or anything. Okay. I'll come back and put a torque wrench on that in a bit. But definitely worked on the, the Ford Edge tire, which uh, the Ford Edge, I guess, a small, small SUV tire. Well, uh, let's go see what it does on the uh, the big flatbed gooseneck and see if it can get the lug nuts off them tires. All right, we got a uh, 30 millimeter on these tires. Uh, for those who don't know, this is a 32 foot gooseneck trailer. Uh, it's dual axle, tandem axles. It's 27 plus 5 foot for the dovetail. So these are some pretty heavy duty stuff. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if this thing's going to do it or not because these are... That's that's pretty hefty. But let's see. Don't look like it. Like I said, these are pretty big, so try a different knife. Oh. So definitely not strong enough, quite strong enough to get these lug nuts off of. But like I said, I mean the socket's almost as big as the drill. So this drill. <laughs> The, I always say drill the impact, right? It is not made to do things like that. Uh, so we'll have to get the bigger one and just kind of see, you know? Because it would be nice to have an impact wrench to get those off. Uh, I have no idea what those are supposed to be torqued to. Because I've never changed a single tire on this trailer. Which uh, is pretty impressive considering we've had this trailer for... Probably close to eight years, seven, eight years. So let's uh let's go move to the uh or here we'll try the boat trailer. Uh, obviously it's just a tandem axle boat trailer, but those lug nuts look kind of rusty. Let's see if we can get those off. Go from there. All right, so definitely a lot smaller than the lug nuts on that big gooseneck trailer. Uh, these are 21 millimeter. Uh, on the Ford Edge, it's 19s. So this is slightly bigger. Uh, as you can tell, you know, they're kind of rusty. Let's try the rusty one. Yeah, no issue there whatsoever. All right. Honestly, I kind of figured the rusty one was going to give up a little bit more of a fight. So definitely seems like this impact wrench is plenty enough for... If you're looking for like something to carry to do your boat trailer or your your four wheeler ATV, uh, I'm gonna argue and say probably small tractor. We'll go try it on the Massey Ferguson 245 next. Uh, definitely any vehicle that most people have. Uh, we can go try it on the F 252 to get a little better idea, because obviously that's gonna be uh, probably the biggest motor vehicle I have. The test on uh, the F-350 is older, so F-250 is probably a little bit more to it nowadays. 
let's go try it on the uh the old tractor and then we'll go try it on the f-250 and then we'll try it on the Kubota but so far what I'm really seeing is if you're you're like a person hauling an RV or if you're you know pulling your boat around or you're just going to be working on your truck or car or something it seems like this thing has more than enough power to do that because as you can tell here and as you can tell on the other one it bump came right off really and truly even the gooseneck trailer I don't, you're really pushing it there because like i said 30 millimeter lug nuts uh but it's very possible like i said i never took them tires off at all it probably got put on by the truck guy selling the trailer and they probably use air impacts so it's very possible those things are way over torqued anyway but still i think no matter what it's kind of pushing on that because that, that's a that's how big that socket was compared to the impact let's go try uh the old tractor and go from there all right so on these it's a uh, 27 millimeter this tire i actually changed this tire which i said i changed it i took it off and brought it to the uh tire shop they put a new tire on it and a new tube in it uh this tire it's probably somewhere around three or four years old something of that nature uh so it's been on there for that long and i'll put these on with a torque wrench uh and i don't remember how much because it was a long time ago but uh let's see if this thing will take it off this is uh you know step down from the 30 millimeter which it wouldn't do there it goes got it no problem it took you know it took a little bit more work than it did on the others Let's try another one just to see. So, nothing to it. So, I definitely would do the uh, tires on this one. I would show you on the front tires with the older tractor. The front tires is actually a bolt. And I've had to pull those off before. And doing so, kind of rounded them a little bit. Uh, so, I try not to mess with those unless I absolutely have to. But uh, it definitely will remove these back here. It will definitely do those up there as well. Let's uh, let's go try it on the F two fifty, and then we'll go from there. All right, we're on the uh, twenty fifteen F two fifty with twenty one millimeter. <laughs> no go. These lights got changed by uh, the tire shop, and I promise you they had the air impact. I promise you they did not put it in spec. We all know how that goes. Try over here. Okay, you got that one. Try this one again. Oh, you got it now. Pretty sure that was the first one, right? Or was it this one? That's the only thing I kind of notice. Oh. Still got full battery. It does seem like it kicks out every now and then. Oh, that's something else I didn't even think about. I forgot all about that, guys. It has three. I think y'all can see that from there. It has three levels. It's been on three this whole time. Uh, let's see what one does. Let's see. We broke this one broke before. Okay. Two. Right, let's not put it back on that one. Let's try this one. said these are probably all way over torqued because if you if you ever dealt with the tire shop or having to take tire off after the tire shop they uh they like to get it with the air in back and you know they're like well i don't know 
50 foot pounds is like three ugga dugga, so they just three ugga dugga and hope for the best. And uh, it really sucks if you're having to take that off the side of the road with a lug nut wrench, though. So, it would break all these free, uh, which is a good thing. And I think, like I said, it's probably all over torqued from the tar shop. Let's go try it out on the, uh, the F350 Dolly, which is probably in the same situation. And go from there. Alright, let's see what we can get in here. These are rusted. 22 millimeter. Okay, got that one. Okay, got that one as well. Cool. So, that's great. That's really nice, especially on these dualies. It's a pain in the butt to get in there with like a lug nut wrench or anything else. So it'd be really handy having that tool in that case. Let's go over to the uh, the Kubota, and it would be kind of our last test. Uh, like I said, especially on the back tires, because I know for a fact the back uh, right hand side is torqued to 200 foot pounds. So we'll uh, go see, because uh, like I said, this is supposed to be the break to 450 foot pounds. Go from there. Okay. So I'm finding on the back tire, we won't be able to test it because it is an inch and three eighths, which uh, the biggest impact socket I have is 32 millimeters, which is this. And uh, it will not fit. And I do not have an impact rated socket for this size. And even if it was, I do not have a three eighths to three quarter inch or three eighths. I could do a three eighths, a half to half to three quarter. But I also don't have half the three quarter adapter. Let's uh let's try the front tires because I believe I'll have a impact socket big enough for that, and then we'll wrap it up. All right. So we're on the front tire of the Kubota with a 24 millimeter. These were put on at the tractor dealer. You know, well I don't know. They, they, the tires might come on it from the factory. I don't know if they have to assemble it there or whatever. Uh, but 24 millimeters. got it it took a little while but he definitely got it so i think what this shows is these little bowers uh, definitely do a good job if you're not doing this for a living you know you probably don't want to do nascar and change tires with it but uh or a poor farmer like me or most of you do it do what diyers and majority of people out there buying these tools to begin with or just any tools this will do what you need to do <laughs> So, one thing I do notice is this metal piece here, which I guess is probably the motor housing. Uh, it does get worn. Like it is borderline uncomfortable to touch it right there and hold it like that. You can, but it is kind of hot. Uh, and it's roughly, probably low 60s outside today in uh, Louisiana on December 29th or 30th. Uh, so 30th, December 30th. So... All right, guys, that kind of shows you what this uh, 20 volt brushless bower could do. Like I said, it's a 3 8 impact, 450 foot pounds of torque for the uh, break, breakaway force. Uh, and I think, what is it, 300? Yeah, 300 foot pounds torque at 30 seconds for fastening, 250 at 10 seconds. Uh, we definitely saw this thing can do a lot. Uh, about the only thing it did not get was the lug nuts on this trailer. Which, like I said, I don't think that's what this was really built to do. Uh, it's a 3 8 There is a, uh, another half inch drive that's roughly the same size as this. And I think it has roughly 485 foot pounds of torque, 495, something like that. Just a little bit more than this one. Uh, and then they have another half inch that's their mm, high torque or ultra torque? High torque. And it'll do 1,000 foot pounds of torque. I'm uh, probably not going to get the half inch that's barely bigger than this because that seems kind of pointless. Uh, but I will definitely be getting that bigger half inch. Uh, and like I said, the bigger one I think is $120 right now. Uh, 
but this little three eighths is doing good so far. Uh, I don't know how well y'all can see that, but it is still full battery, which I mean, all in all, we really didn't do a whole heck of a lot with it. And this is a five amp hour battery. And I'm pretty sure somewhere's on that box it says it recommends the three amp hour battery. Uh, I just went straight to the five for the, the current deal at Harbor Freight. You buy the battery for six to eight bucks and you get, you know, certain tools you can get for free. Uh, the brush is three eighths, drive was one. Uh, there, there's a whole list of them. I also got the brushless uh, bit driver that I'll be doing another video on here shortly. Uh, all in all, this thing seems to be working pretty good. Like I said, it, it's still pretty hot right here, so it does build up heat. I can't tell you if that's normal on other impacts or not. Uh, it's not so hot that I can't hold my hand there. It's a good little heat warmer uh, right now, especially, like I said, I think it's lower 60s outside right now. Not too big of a deal. Uh, so if you were constantly moving and removing lug nuts and stuff and trying to overdo it, uh, you might want to look at going to Dewalt in Milwaukee. But for my case, where I'm removing lug nuts once in a blue moon, uh, last time I removed lug nuts off of something was when I replaced the, uh, the axle seal in the Nissan Titan video. Uh, that's also kind of what drove me to, use, to go ahead and swap over to the electric impact. I had that cobalt air impact and uh, it failed on me. All honesty is probably maintenance issue. You know, probably didn't PM it that great. Uh, but I think that cobalt only had 350 foot pounds of torque because this entry level one a pneumatic I think this is gonna do everything I want it to do. I'm pretty ecstatic about it uh, I'm pretty excited about trying the impact driver because part of the reason I went and got an impact driver Was really the battery deal because I wanted I kind of like staying brushless because they're just they're gonna last longer and That was the only other brushless thing they had for the battery at this time for the battery deal but I'm going to be redoing this trailer probably this summer. And so there's a bunch of old rusty screws that I'm going to have to remove. Uh, deck screwing or whatever you call these trailer fasteners. Uh, so I'm going to be removing a bunch of those. I've never tried to do that with my Dewalt because I was always worried about burning it up because it is just a drill. Uh, and I didn't want to ruin my drill because like I said, it's been a great, great piece of tool. And I didn't want to replace it. Uh, but I'm gonna try that impact driver. Uh, that's probably gonna be one of the tests whenever we do a video on it It's just seeing how long it takes to get one of these fasteners out There's a really good video out there of guys. They took that bit driver uh, From Bauer one from Dewalt and one from rigid. I believe No Ryobi Ryobi. It was Ryobi. They took those three. They ran them side by side uh, The Dewalt was actually the lowest performer as far as capabilities the power actually outperformed everything else, but they ended up saying they didn't like it because they didn't like how it felt. Uh, it actually did a lot more deck screws and everything. This is talking about the bit driver, not this. So that was a really good video. It was really interesting to see that. Uh, I would recommend looking it up. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna go, go inside and try to get something from a throat and try to get some holes or something. I just wanted to throw this video out there to kind of show y'all what this bow, little bower is capable of doing. Uh, for my sockets, I got this little Nico set, N-E-I-K-O. Got it off of Amazon. It's a metric set of impact sockets that go from 11 millimeters to 30, uh, 32, 11 millimeters to 32. Uh, it's been a great little set. I've had it for probably two, three years now. It's done a lot of good. All right, y'all, I'm gonna go inside. I uh, hope y'all enjoyed today. Uh, Hope y'all have a good New Year's. Hope y'all had a very good Christmas and got to spend time with your family and friends. Other than that, I will talk to y'all next time, and y'all have a wonderful day.